to the Dunbar High School class of 2020. To the class of 2020. To the class of 2020. Class of 2020. Class of 2020. Class of 2020. Congratulations on your accomplishments. I am so proud of you. You've been counting down towards this day since quarter one. The day that you've waited for all these years is finally here. I know your senior year didn't end this plan. You must feel some sort of way about not having a traditional graduation. But this just shows the flexibility and resiliency that you have when it comes to change. I'm so proud of all the things you've accomplished over the past four years. It seems like just yesterday you were freshmen walking through the doors of Dunbar. I've grown physically and mentally. You always want to do better. So I took that upon myself. It took me a couple years, but I finally matured senior year. I'm a better person now. I'm more confident now. I'm more outgoing and I'm more positive. I'm maturity. And the way I think, I think way deep into things. I learned how to mature more and like be on my own, basically. I used to be shy, be to, be to myself, but now I'm actually going out, not being scared to meet new people or not being scared to do new things. I definitely had better time management. I didn't know what to expect from high school, but these last four years at Dunbar have been a wonderful experience. Yeah, freshman year, the same year, been a roller coaster. The best thing about high school is creating memories that will last a lifetime. One of my favorite memories from high school is definitely pep rally and homecoming. Especially freshman homecoming, that would probably be like the best like high school memory I had there. And you know, just all the experiences with my friends. Uh, we won the, the JV championship back to back. Won the state championship in 10th grade. Tough me, I scored three touchdowns, one game. My 10th grade year, we won like basketball state championship. And cheering with the Dunbar cheerleaders and all the funny times in class when people would say funny stuff and you know, make us laugh. We always managed to find a way to spend time together. Any memory at Dunbar was my favorite. Like any day you walk into Dunbar, it's a movie. We had so many fun times together. It was just such a lit school. And I'm glad I got the chance to attend Dunbar. Uh, I'm gonna miss it a lot, for real. I'm gonna miss y'all so much. First, I'd like to say thank you to the staff, teachers, students at Dunbar for making my last four years of high school what it was. Thank all my teachers, all teachers, all staffs, um, hall monitors. Sasha Naya, because Sasha Naya really, he actually gave me hope and motivation. Miss Callum, she was such an inspiration. Shout out to Miss Katrona for keeping it A1 since day one. Also Mr. Green, because he helped me with all this college stuff. Miss Green for always being such a great teacher and friend. My mama, because she always there with me, support her. And she like always on my back. A big thank you to Mr. Williams and Mr. Green for helping me out. And I want to thank Miss Evans. I want to thank Miss Maddox. I want to thank Miss Levine. I want to thank all my friends for encouraging me to do better. Mr. Fun, Miss Levine, Mr. Gilbert, um, Miss Maddox. Man, there's so many more I can't even name. But I thank all my teachers just for um believing in me, sticking, staying on me for real. Thank you so much for um, supporting me and always helping me become the person I am today. See myself um, traveling the world. See myself getting closer to my career as an anesthesiologist. I graduated in college with a bachelor's degree in theater arts, moving to Atlanta or LA to start my career. Yes, I would like to see myself being successful, helping others, and helping myself. I see myself being a professional basketball player. I see myself owning probably like a business or something. I'm a young entrepreneur, to be honest. I went on to medical school to earn my degree and become a pediatric nurse. I had school to get my doctorate in psychology with my own house and my own car. Class of 2020, I'm proud that we made it this far. I'm so happy that we get to graduate. Even though we can't walk across the stage, I'm still proud that we proved everybody wrong. Um, we made it. Like We had a lot of obstacles, a lot of problems, but... We stuck it through, like even with all of this COVID stuff, these virtual classes, because all of it was like very stressful. We stuck it through. I am proud that I made it this far and that I'll be able to graduate this year, even if it is virtually. Throughout high school, I was able to keep a straight A, straight B, like on a roll type status. Now that I won a state championship, I can come back to Dunbar 10 years later from now if I have kids and show them. 2020 has not been an ideal year, and we see that, but glad we all persevered and are finishing. Um, I'd like to say good luck to all of you.
whatever route you take. Um, I hope you're successful. Life is too short. You cherish every moment of it. You fight for anything that comes into your life because if you're not going to fight for it, who will? No, don't really focus on what people, other people are doing. Just focus on you and what you got to accomplish and get done. Time manage and know that, like, when somebody say something is due, like, it's due at that particular time, so you start ahead of time. Three things you need to know. Live in the moment, learn every day, and focus in class. Try it from the start. Always put your best effort into your work. Choose your friends wisely, especially the ones you choose to be with outside of school. Minimize who you have in your circle because everybody don't want to see you succeed. Explore, experience, get out of your comfort zone, and take advantage of the opportunities given to you. Keep pushing, y'all is going to do great. Be yourself. Don't change for anybody. Don't fit in. Don't try to fit in. If you're smart, stay smart. Just stay true to yourself. Don't let nobody say you can't do nothing because you can. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what is important. Capture the good times in this moment. Develop from the negatives. And if these things don't work out, just take another shot. And that is how many of us healthcare providers have been able to manage through this historic pandemic. Make it through this, you can make it through anything in life. Don't try to make yourself or make your journey be like anyone else's because you are unique and you're individual. You're gonna create your own paths. And in life, you're gonna have trials and tests. Sometimes you might fall, but as long as you don't fall backward and you fall forward, you're moving in the right direction. Just continue to stay strong, keep moving, keep it pushing. Congratulations, the future is yours and enjoy. I just wanna congratulate each and every one of you for reaching this point in your life. I know you're disappointed not being able to walk across the stage physically, but don't underestimate the hard work that you guys put in. You guys are moving on to your next endeavor. You're either winning or you're learning. You're never losing. You're either winning or learning. If you think you fail, you're not failing. You're just learning from it. Make sure you learn from it. Bring your mind to see the good in everything. Positivity is a choice. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Good luck and Godspeed. If one thing we've learned through this whole thing is how to be resilient, and you have proven that, you've completed the task, all I can say is congratulations to you, let you know how proud I am of you, and wish you the best on all future endeavors, and welcome you to the Dunbar Alumni Family, baby. Congratulations. Poor pride. It's been so wonderful to see all of you grow from curious and new ninth graders to the wonderful young men and women that you have become. I know things are a bit different. You had lots of challenges. But use this as an example of what life is like. It's unpredictable and not always fair. All these things that are happening around us, but you guys persevered. Remember, take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. You can do anything with hard work and dedication. Don't lose track of your values and who you are inside. Know that your journey is just beginning. You have laid the foundation by being a poet. And I pray that those lessons learned um, through the last four years can continue to carry throughout your life. I come to you and say, I salute you. Awesome job. Be blessed. I'm so excited to hear about what you're going to be doing in life beyond Dunbar, whether that's college or working. Take your brilliant minds and great talents and conquer your dreams and ambitions. If you ever need anything from any of us here at Dunbar or from Miss Katrona, I am just a phone call, a DM, or a text message away. Use the Spanish, the French that you learn in Miss K class to impact the world. Remember the three L's of life. Live well love much, and laugh often. You are born with an unlimited capacity for progress. Tap in, great success, I love you. Congratulations, the world is absolutely yours. It has been an honor and a joy and a privilege being with you this last year. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations, lady poets and gentlemen poets. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, poets. 2020 out. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo!